Okay, listen, before you bitches start talking shit. Because <laughs> that's all you're going to do anyway. Yes, the bitch was there before me, but she also knew I was going to come. What did the bitch get there? The psycho. Crackhead 2. Crackhead 2. Alien the towel. My, poor, my Patreon. She was there the day before, a couple days before. Okay, so two days before I got there. Okay. Alien the towel, Crackhead 2, was a Patreon of mine. That's, that's why she's a super fan. I didn't give her enough attention. She freaked out. Okay? She made a death threat. I swear on my life. That's why she's a super fan. So she started pulling her, her BS, right? This is what I'm telling, guys, this is what I'm like really telling you guys. Like I'm totally telling you the truth. That's why I called her a super fan. You, what do you think? That she just happened to be in the neighborhood because she cared? No, she's from Jersey. We did the background ground check on her and everything. We, I'm giving it, I'm giving it to Andra. She wants to uh, make a nice scene outside of uh, uh, Billy Joel's house. Oh yeah, we'll get to that bitch. Wanna make a scene outside Billy Joel's house, talking about this, talking about that. Now I'm gonna say some a couple things that are gonna fucking trigger a lot of you guys. I'm probably gonna say a couple things that you don't really know. But at this point, you know what I say? I say, fuck it. Do you really think she would come down there from a junkie channel and be there for the baby? She didn't know what the baby's name was. Stop calling him that kid. You've been waiting for you to go live? Yeah, it's been a, the best day. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I put on members only. I had to. We all did. We all did. I'm gonna tell you what, that sheriff, wow. They sent that head, um, they sent that head reporter outside the, uh, to show up and interview Betty, right? And talk about the money that she was making. Holy shit, he's going for her. And let me tell you, she was like, oh my God. I said, yeah, you're calling them out on their fucking bullshit. People don't like being called out on their bullshit. So this is what happens. Right after Dolly was arrested, there was only, there was a bunch of protesters. But then when, I believe, um, after I left, I said, you know what? For me, it's, uh, for me, it felt, um, I said to Justin, I said, get me in this car. That's what I said. I said, Justin, get me out of here or else I'm taking an Uber. I said, that, that, I said, this is it for me. I said, this is it for me. I said, there's nothing for me to do with everything that I've seen and everything that I know. And um, I'm not as stupid as I fucking look. And I know I look fucking stupid, but I'm not as stupid as I fucking look. And I know I look fucking stupid. Don't worry about when she gets here, we're gonna take good care of her when she gets here. There also was a person in the jail that said, don't worry about when she gets here, we're gonna take good care of her when she gets here, okay? That when we left and went over to that police station, that's when Billy Joel came out. Billy Joel felt comfortable coming out after I left. That's pretty weird, don't you think? Why is she so shooketh over me? Why did I have to be some sort of fucking big deal down here? Trust me, Betty's 10 times more of a threat than I will ever be. Trust me. Betty isn't there for the family. She only cared about um, having the camera on me. She said it. And I'm thinking, how fucking weird. You... She lived in legal lightly, right? Is that on her background for it? Yeah. Normally, and number one, uh, listen, press people, they are not YouTubers. The only people with real YouTube channels were Dolly Vision, Chronicles of Olivia, Justice for All, and myself. I'm Betty. Who? I'm Betty. <laughs> How did I forget Betty? <laughs> and Mallory? Mm -hmm. Mallory took off. Background for it? Yeah. Emily, and number one, uh, listen, press people. And Mallory? Mm -hmm. Mallory took off. Ed, Marissa, I need you down here so you can start yelling. Okay, I would have been down here sooner, but that's all I really came down to do. I really didn't want to be involved with this. And I really don't have time to watch. I pop in, I popped out. I'm learning a lot. Wow. Oh, but what are they saying? Mute it. You have to mute it. How do I mute it?
It's an iPhone. How do I have to mute it? Turn it around. Let me read it. Just don't say it out loud. Please don't. I will say it out loud. Just, I'll just show you who it is. Look at me. Aww. No. Oh, is he? Wow. Don't say it. Wow. Really, motherfucker? Really, motherfucker? Do you really want to go there, motherfucker? Here's the woman thing. She is. Do you really want me to go there, motherfucker? Because let me tell you something. Oh, let me tell you something. You piss me the fuck off, and I swear on my fucking mother. I swear on my mother. Who's that fucking country singer? That oh, fucking Ryan, country singer. Ryan that Ryan Up Church. I'll fucking tell him what you told me not to fucking tell him, and you'll be a fucking shit creek, motherfucker. I kept that fucking shit a secret. You better fucking respect me, bitch. Don't you ever. You fucking piece of shit. You fucking come on. Fucking piece of shit. Yeah. True crime, my fucking ass. You got some fucking nerve, cabron. You do. The shit you're into? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. yeah. That shit's shocking. You didn't tell me what it was. You never oh, fuck it. no. Holy shit. I swore on my fucking mother. You never told then, me. Then they, oh, you better fucking keep that now fucking shut. Fucking talk shit about us. How dare you? Who the fuck? What side of the fucking train are you on, motherfucker? Turn out Ryan Upchurch ain't fucking crazy at all, is he? That motherfucker. I swear on my fucking life. He better shut the fucking pipes up. Way I never did anything to him. Kept my mouth shut, kept walking. You learn your, you learn some fucking respect. Exactly, I walk this way, you walk that, boom, that's it, it's over. That is terrible. Grandfather of missing toddler Clinton Simon killed in hit and run. Hmm. By a oh, hit and run, wait, hit and run. Yeah, they didn't find the person. Could it have been intentional? <laughs> you tell me. What the fuck is going on around here? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's interesting three people die and he didn't and this kid wasn't her favorite this is deeper than I said this mother can you fill me up oh you got oh just can I please borrow just one what the gold ball is it yours you got that for me yeah. awesome oh. I was just kidding about the other thing am I a good actress or what <laughs> He's a terrible actress, right? He's such a terrible actress. Where was Leilani? Uh, well, she's not around, remember? <laughs> we nobody I don't know. She is. Check Grandpa's house. I don't know. She could be there. I don't know. There's rumors that she's in rehab. Apparently, there's this big secret that she's not in the house. Ooh, I don't give a fuck if she's in there. I don't care if she's under the house. Poor kid. That was doing the handstand. He don't give a fuck. Neither does uh, his dad. You thought more would come out? JLR posted pictures of Tamala. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. I don't know. Where's House of Williams? You want to know something? House of Williams is smart. She got on and got on up and got the fuck out of here. Billy Joe. Billy Joe. Billy Joe. Billy. What the fuck's name? Billy Joe. Fuck her. Billy Joel. Fuck Billy Joel. And then she, then when I left, she came out. What the fuck? What did she think I was gonna do? Hit her? Yell know. at her? I wouldn't have said a word to her. Did she really think I was coming down? Who, who told her I was coming down there to do something to her? With all those cats. 20 month old. And y'all worried about fucking clown costumes. Way to go. Way to go. <sighs> Pointing the camera at us? What the fuck did we do? Yeah. You would think we fucking killed him? I know.
That's what crackheads do, Marissa. But they don't change. <laughs> that fucking coon took away everything. Every fucking sign, every fucking candle, everything. And said that it was this fucking respect, that it was all a fucking lie. When they should be mourning, they're playing fucking music. Playing music with a fucking disco ball. The bitch don't even have a fucking lawyer. She's talking to fucking crackheads on YouTube. Holy shit. I never thought anything could be worse than Don and Candace. Holy shit. This really is worse than Don and fucking Candace. And I think we all sat around and agreed. With me, Olivia, and Andrea fucking said, oh my God. There's this fucking bitch. This is, she's worse than fucking Candace. We almost want to say, who's got Candace's fucking number? <laughs> Sitting out there. This is what we need to do. When, they, when, when there's an arrest, we need to go out there and have a party. Have a party for this little boy because nobody else fucking cared about him. I'm very stuff. disappointed. In nobody else fucking cared about no him. No one cared about him now. I understand. Please don't make That's what I'm saying. You heard a fucking 20 month old and y'all worried about fucking clown costumes. Way to go, way to go. Pointing the camera at us. The fuck did we do? Yeah. You would think we fucking killed him. I know. And then it was this fucking respect that it was all a fucking lie. I wanna go home and I'm glad like I said, I'm glad that Dolly was locked up. Otherwise, we would have been stuck with those crackheads making a complete joke out, out of this situation. And we were able to utilize that time to actually get stuff done. Person. Could it have been intentional? <laughs> you tell me. What the fuck is going on around here? <laughs> I was just kidding about the other thing. Am I a good actress or what? <laughs> they said I'm a terrible actress. <laughs> you weren't getting. <laughs> you were not getting. But I'm such a such a terrible actress, right? This one, the little one, Olivia. And guess what? They're still calling her a fucking heckler. We went to the DA's office. We go right through. We go on up there, and there's this bitch reporter there. Oh. Then with the camera guy. She tries to act like she doesn't fucking know us. I don't even look at her. I don't like the press at all. I don't. I just don't like them. And I'm glad that Betty stood up for her too. Oh, well, what brings you to, are you, are you part, she goes, she goes, are you guys part of the, uh, protesters? And Betty goes, I think you know who I am. She goes, oh. She was a real fucking snot bag. And then the DA. Oh, yeah. Passing the buck, passing the buck, passing the buck. I'm not even like, I'm not even fucking around anymore. And you want to know something? It has nothing even to do with the crackheads outside that started coming out yesterday. It's not about that. When I tell you that my stomach, my, ugh, and in fact, Buller and Betty pushed me and Dolly together and said, you know, you, you, you two get together. And we filmed um, a piece. And it almost is like exposing uh, the corrupt county. I could have told you that. And I was like, well, why didn't you at least shoot me a text? Shit. We had to learn that the hard way. Apparently, we had too many teeth for them.
We don't fit in for that, but that part of town. We don't fit in for that, but that part of town. I need another one. Oh my god, that was my last one. So now I'm stuck with the fucking shrimp. I don't live in the fucking south, I'll tell you that much. Be the size of a fucking house again. Mm. The, no, I call them the toothless society of America. Apparently, I'm not a little lie. So I'm, I'm, I'm being exposed as a huge liar. I can't take, I can't, I, listen, I can't do texts right now. Not right now. Not when I'm live. Oh, there was, oh, but guess what? There was also people there with YouTube channels that were being really, really nice to me and really shitty uh, online. But they were really nice to me to my face. What else did she put out there? Onions. See, I take that personally. Did somebody tell her that I hated onions? You crazy bitch. I'm sitting there the whole time going like this. I'm sitting there going like this. You've got to be kidding me. And I'm listening to these crackheads. And Eileen, okay, do I have to do an impression of Eileen? Eileen, whatever the freak she's being called these days. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm fucking Molly Golightly. <laughs> that bitch! Oh, that bitch over there! Fuck! 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 Call the police! Fuck! That was her the whole time, and I'm sitting there like. Why? 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 That little baby. So now that baby is all alone. Wherever that baby is. And they made it all about me. And then once I left, for some reason, the family felt safe coming out. What did they think I was gonna do to them? Let the silence kill them. I never wanted to be famous. Okay, Billy Joel, how does it feel? You like it? I'm just talking about without me. Hey, hey, remember, I'm feeding low-income families for four years, honey. Providing cigarette and vape money for low-class people for four years, honey. So God will bring them justice. You're right. It's in God's hands now. Damn, they have nothing to talk about without me. Hey. Hey. Remember, I'm feeding low-income families for four years, honey. Providing cigarette and vape money for low-class people for four years, honey. So God will bring them justice. You're right. It's in God's hands now. But me and Justin went, um, he was driving, not me. We went over to that trailer park. Someone just left a comment. Oh my thing saying Clout Chaser says, We're so sorry we stole your contents from your page. I'll tell you one thing. Let me tell you something. 
I said to Betty last night. And I'm going to tell you guys that too. Betty did this shit all on her own for a whole month. She's grown her channel and she worked for it on her own. She's, she's, she, first she got a nice little boost. Piggyback ride. <clears throat> but now she does it on her own. Because she's got it. I've got the Jean de So does Betty. So does Mallory Williams. You either have it or you don't. You either have to buy subs or you don't. You either have to buy subs or you don't. You either have to kiss ass or you don't. Right? Am I right? Am I wrong? You work for it. Don't you feel a little better? But I'll tell you one thing. I would be very worried if, let's just say I hated Betty. I'll tell you one thing. Even if I hated Betty, Bullhorn Betty right now, I would make no comment about what she was doing. And you did it on your own. Fine, you got a nice little boost from me, but shit. And you want to know something? Her and Dolly, guess what they had? Right there. I found it. She had it right there with her. I took a picture. I couldn't believe it. She's like, I got it from Dolly. She had a Molly Golightly pen right there on her shirt. I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't even see straight for about 10 seconds. The pens that we had four years ago. I said, there's your lucky charm, girl. I mean, I took the whole thing. I <laughs> I'm a professional tweaker now. <laughs> Diana, I hope you didn't think I was a real tweaker. I took a, a, a what was it called? A fence me and I took the whole thing. I, I thought I needed the energy because... I had been on a, a, a liquid fast, so I was very weak. I was like, oh, I can use the energy. And I was supposed to break it in half. I took the whole thing. And later on in the day, I, well, I don't know how soon, Justin, <laughs> he goes, you took the whole thing? He goes, I don't think you were supposed to take the whole thing. <laughs> I go, What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'll never take that shit again. I'm going like this. What is that? Is this the locked jaw? <laughs> jaw? <laughs> I think that if somebody would have punched me in the face that day, I probably wouldn't have felt it. <laughs> oh my God. So check this out. My little liar video where you see my foot. We actually recorded that at three o'clock in the morning. Everybody thought I was drunk. They're telling me to go to rehab, that I was sloshed. Mind you, I was the only one at Hula Hands that did not drink. I was like, I wasn't drunk. I was tired. I'm tired now. Like, Molly, I'm so concerned. Tired. I'm tired now. Molly, I'm so concerned with your drinking. Molly, I'm so concerned with your drinking. 
I'm so concerned with Xanax. I'm definitely not on Xanax. Do I need one? Yes. No, this is iced tea. See? I gotta prove everything, right? This is, this is iced tea from the the crab place. What the hell is this? Passion fruit tea. Oh, dude. Justin, what am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to bring this on the plane? They're gonna think, yeah, they're gonna call me Michelle. They're gonna be like, they're gonna do a. <laughs> Oh, I, I listen. Listen. Look what I got. Now the now someone's going after me. Listen. Look what I got. Now the, now someone's going after me for promoting Snoop Dogg. Apparently he did something really bad. And I'm like, did he did he get arrested for something this weekend? Oh, by the way, I I'm staying on top of a nightclub. Nope, not home yet till 11:30. Oh my gosh. Just stick with me. Oh my God. Justin, can you tell everybody that there's a nightclub downstairs? I can't, I can't believe that time fell. That was excellent. You know what I'm saying? Deuces! <laughs> Imagine us just sitting there in the car. <laughs> And he's all sedated like, you know, Justin. Actually, I didn't even know he took Adderall. He says he told me. I don't know. How would I remember? I don't pay attention to anything anybody says, you know? I didn't even know he took Adderall. He says he told me. I don't know. How would I remember? I don't pay attention to anything anybody says, you know? Plus... There's no way. Thank you. There's no way he takes fucking Adderall. I've seen people on Adderall and they're all fucking, <laughs> they're all fucking disheveled all over the place, right? <laughs> I'm like, there's no way he takes Adderall. Cause he's also, Justin's like this. For dry eyes, use clear eyes. <laughs> hey Marissa you take Ritalin oh I thought you said it was Adderall that's like the same thing huh oh whatever I don't remember you ever telling me that though I take Ritalin <laughs> holy shit isn't that for like nine year olds? <laughs> Better fucking. I thought Ritalin was for like kids that pick up chairs in school and try and throw them out the window. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he goes, hey, Marissa. I'm sitting right next to him. When I'm sitting right next to you, you don't have to say, hey, Marissa. You've already got my attention. <laughs> you know, when you got social media and so many devices and cameras and everything else going on that you have to address people by their actual name. <laughs> Wanna go to the trailer park? <laughs> I just bust out laughing. I said, really? I've never been asked that before. <laughs> the dump, a garbage dump. And he gets out of the car. I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing? And I'm on the phone with my mother. Ma! <laughs> we got kicked out. Apparently, you're not allowed to film at a garbage dump. I don't know what the fuck they're hiding. See, 
I'm very suspicious. <laughs> How do you get kicked out of a fucking... <laughs> Technically, it wasn't me. It was Justin that got kicked out of a garbage zone. Listen, I... Marissa's like, I think they need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> garbage people. For real. I go, I don't want this stank kitchen onto my clothes. Anyway, he takes me into the trailer park and I'm like ready to start crying because it was a real trailer park and real people lived there. But I think they're kind of cool, but I'm not, I've never been camping in my life. And I've seen every Friday the 13th movie. And I think of Jason. That axe. No. You go into the woods, you're gonna get fucking killed by Jason. They have Reese's Pieces in fucking South Africa? Yeah, eat. Dre's right there, backstage. I had, a, dude, I had Axel Rose in the front and fucking Dweezil Zap in the back. Fuck yeah, dude. Backstage at MTV Awards, fucking yeah. Kid Rock in the front and fucking, uh, oh, fucking Dweezil back. Take, I tug it in every fucking hole, dude. Every fucking fucking hole in 1987, dude. Swear to God. I was only like fucking 14. I shouldn't have even been there. <gasps> I shouldn't have even been there. <gasps> it's fucking me. <sighs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, my grandmother fucking was she, no, she fucking ruined, no, she fucking was roommates with fucking Hillary Clinton and fucking Wellesley College, dude. Yeah, my own fucking grandmother. Yeah, she used to eat fucking Hillary's pussy. Yeah. I can't. Fuck. Oh my God. She's such a mess. She's such a mess. Forgive me. Betty, all I said was, Betty, be nice. They're a fan. They're a fan. They want you to acknowledge them. Don't Marissa I said, do you want a signature? And they would say, no, no, no. And she would say, okay, let's turn around now. <laughs> all right. Unless you want an autograph or a selfie, we got to keep going. Thank you for coming out. It was nice to meet you. And and my darling, thank you for the bouquets of flowers that you had sent to the jail. I was taken back. They were thank beautiful. You. They were very beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. Couldn't bear to see her suffer. I know. How was Adrian's trip? I haven't asked. As soon as he came in the door... That's why I left. I love. Are we resorting to sweeping because the vacuum don't work? I have a vacuum on my wish list. I think I have three vacuums on my wish list. I haven't gotten one. And then I think I even bought one out of desperation and it never came. I don't know what's going on. But I find. Serious question. Why do you try to make everything about you? Because everybody made it about me. That's why. Next. Obsessed with me. And then they asked me, Nikita. Michael Lively, why do you make it about you? I don't make it about me. They make it about me. They do. Michael Lively thinks she's famous. No, you make me think I'm fucking famous. Because you treat me like I'm famous. You hold out your fucking 
cameras like that at me. Only paparazzi people do that. Am I right or am I wrong? If I have to put sunglasses and a hat on and hide behind a blanket, that's what celebrities do. I've never had to do that before, ever. They were treating me like I was a celebrity. I had a super fan drive from fucking New Jersey. Think about it. I had a super fan drive from New Jersey. Yes. To take video of me. Now, just because you're a Patreon doesn't mean you're a super fan. That's a. I'm not doing every state to run them off when they do something like this. I mean, their people is watching. Fuck My you. video. Super fan comes all the way from New Jersey to come see Molly Golan. Well, you got bad lot, bro. I, I, you dreamed I'm of? a lonely bitch, bitch. I don't even like you. What do you mean? A super fan comes. I was a patron of yours for two months. Well, you did what you did to the wells. I said to you, that was grimy. Go to his job and do what you did. Why'd you do that? Yes. I got to stop talking from there, bitch. What do you mean? Get real. Get real. Super fan comes all the way from New Jersey just to see Molly go lightly. <laughs> was it everything you hoped it would be? More than what she was saying. She was. She was way up. She must have been taking some kind of fucking what do you call mushrooms. She must be mushrooms or whatever these fucking things are. They drunk because that bitch was because that bitch was really. She took a trip and she went way off on that trip, bitch. And she hasn't come back yet. All right, Quincy, I'm gonna jump down. I just wanted Billy to know she's not alone. All right, honey, I appreciate you coming up. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Super fan comes from New Jersey just to come see me, bitch. <laughs> or anything, I'll come see you punching your face. Not to come see you because I'm a super fan, bitch. See, and we got comments saying big, big hugs, Billy. Stay strong. Um, so they sent you cards and stuff like that. And since see Metallica, let alone Molly Go Lightly, you hear me? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I wouldn't drive, drive across the street to see Molly. Me, I would wait. Wait a second. Hold on. Wait a second. I just got an epiphany. I came all the way from New Jersey to Georgia just to see her. Right when she lives 45 minutes. From trying to Hershey. I like to yeah, I drove all these hours just to see Molly go lightly. Yes. I'm getting the orgasm right now. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine standing outside in the rain and shit for a oh, meet and greet to have me. MGL sign your boob? I'm going to Georgia to see her? Bitch, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, oh my god that's fantastic let me, let me get something straight here all right let me get something straight okay and these people that were here they could all attest to it savage and everybody here i was here last week Mo okay <clears throat> molly okay justin all you betty i was here last week yeah you know that right i got here it was 10 30 at night i didn't know there was a, a noise ordinance i didn't know any of that i said where is everybody i thought it was peaceful i said oh that's good i spoke to the neighbor for the old man across the street which by the way he don't like you guys. Even though you keep saying the lies that he gets along with Betty, he really like, he doesn't. Anyway, so that's when I seen the truck over here. It was Michael. I didn't know who he was. I came over, talked to him peacefully. Um, I was actually on the phone with Laura when I had pulled up to here. And um, <clears throat> I was, she was like, well, yell out their name. I'm yelling, but I, I didn't want to scream real loud. So anyway, I hung up with her, and I went across the street, and then I went back there. And I actually, he might even got there. He went and got his mom. And. You know, lay with the blue shirt, you can call her. And um, they lie, you know, man, we were sitting back there and we were talking. So, yeah, I was here last week. But uh, you guys want to know that because see, the stuff I brought, they kept inside because it was very nice and expensive. So they kept it inside so it didn't get ruined out here. Or you people did, you know, steal it for your kids or whoever. <laughs> that he loved you so much. He loved you so much that he went outside and hung himself. Can't believe I made deuces a fucking thing, dude. I can't believe I made deuces a fucking thing. Fuck, fuck yeah, dude. For <laughs> anything, I'll come see you punching your face. Not to come see you because I'm a super fan, bitch. I wouldn't I drive across the street to see Molly. I would have Wait a second. Hold on. Wait a second. I just got an epiphany. I came all the way from New Jersey to Georgia just to see her, right? When she lives 45 minutes from Trenton to Hershey. I like to yeah, I drove all these hours just to see Molly go lightly. Yes. I'm getting the orgasm right now. <laughs> 
I mean, can you imagine standing outside in the rain and shit for a meet and greet to have MGL sign your boob? (laughs) (laughs) Bitch, you're fucking crazy. I mean, oh my God, that's fantastic. Let me me get something straight here, all right? Let me get something straight, okay? And these people that were here, they could all attest to it, Savage and everybody here. I was here last week. Okay, Molly. Justin, all you, Betty, I was here last week. Yeah, you know that, right? I got here, it was 1030 at night. I didn't know there was a, a noise ordinance. I didn't know any of that. I said, where is everybody? I thought it was peaceful. I said, oh, that's good. I spoke to the neighbor for the old man across the street, which, by the way, he don't like you guys. Even though you keep saying the lies that he gets along with Betty, he really like, he doesn't. Anyway, so that's when I seen the truck over here. It was Michael. I didn't know who he was. I came over, talked to him peacefully. Um, I was actually on the phone with Laura where I had pulled up to here. And um, I was, she was like, well, yell at their name. I'm yelling, but I, I didn't want to scream real loud. So anyway, I hung up with her, and I went across the street, and then I went back there, and I actually, they not even got there. He went and got his mom, and, you know, lay with the blue shirt, the good caller. And um, they lying, you know, man, we were sitting back there, and we were talking. So, yeah, I was here last week, but uh, you guys want to know that, because the, the stuff I brought, they kept inside because it was very nice and expensive. So they kept it inside so it didn't get ruined out here. Or one of you people did, you know, steal it for your kids or <laughs> and I just fell asleep. Give a shit, give a fuck what Cher has to think. You're relevant here. You're not relevant here. <laughs>